What is going on guys? It is once again Michael or Legacy Kill HD back here with another video for you guys today. Today we're going to be concentrating on Fallout 4 and we'll probably be doing that a lot more and probably more Elder Scrolls content that will be coming on this channel. Uh, obviously I'll probably be concentrating on Call of Duty series a little bit less but I want to make sure I still put that type of content out so expect that. But today we're going to be talking about Outsiders and how they possibly could be playing roles in the future DLCs to come. Obviously we've had three DLCs that have come out so far, well not Far Harbor yet, but it's soon to come or soon to be announced with the date. We don't know much about it or what the factions are and what the roles will be. So today we're going to be talking about a couple of Outsiders, outside countries and well, aliens that could possibly play a role in these DLCs to be. So first we're going to start with the Zetans or the aliens in the Fallout universe. Many Fallout fans believe that these Zetans are not real. They're not non-canon. They're just a joke in the franchise. I mean, that's what they were originally. Personally, I'm kind of in between. I'm not really sure what to believe. There's some there's some really big information that I'll be going over that does make it sound a little weird that the Zetans had a big role in the Great War. I mean, I like the fact that, you know, it's a joke, you know, they're small green guys, they're in all Fallout games, I mean, in Fallout 4 we got that cameo where the UFO lands and then we have to battle, well, we fight the alien and we get his blaster, which is a really good weapon, but, uh, and then we have the DLC in Fallout 3, obviously, but, uh, as far as what we've seen so far with the Zetans, that they, they've been watching Earth since at least the 1600s, a lot of the advanced technologies that the humans have now is created using the Zetans technology. And uh, they came to the public eye during the 1960s when the USSA space capsule, Clarabella 7, and the pilot, obviously, astronaut Colonel Hardigan, who was in Fallout 3's DLC, they were abducted. And obviously, as we play through that Mothership Zeta DLC, we find out that there's other peoples from different eras that were abducted, obviously. I believe there was a cowboy, samurai, and obviously there was Hardigan. And I believe there's somebody else, I just can't remember it off the top of my head right now. And I know the most troublesome thing for any Fallout fan is that the, in the records of Mothership Zeta, it's revealed that they captured a U.S. soldier before the Great War who knew the nuclear launch codes, which a lot of fans do not like to hear because they like to believe that the Sino-American War was what created the war. It wasn't because aliens brainwashed somebody or they launched a war. And personally... Because of the cameo that they already have in Fallout 4, just that mini cameo, I don't personally think we will see anything else. Maybe another spaceship crashed or something. I kind of hope they don't, but deep down, I, I I think it'd be fun to see an alien invasion on the Commonwealth. Do I see it happening? I, I think it's a very minimal chance. I think the other two options that I'm going to be presenting in a second are a lot more possible. Now let's move on, guys, and actually let's start with the China. In Fallout 4, we do get to see Captain Zhou, who served during the Great War under China. His whole crew has gone feral. He's been alive for over 200 years as he's turned into a gull, obviously. And now he just lives with that misery of launching those nuclear missiles that killed so many people. He, after you go through conversation with him, he says that he regrets everything he does. He just wants to go back to China. And at the end of Fallout 4, nothing really happens. He's still there. We don't know exactly what's going to happen if they may progress with that storyline. But one thing that is very interesting in the Fallout universe is that there was a cancelled Fallout Extreme title. It, the storyline was set to be a hundred years since the Great War and the Chinese now have a new emperor. They build a doomsday missile to wipe out the rest of America as they feel the Brotherhood is still is gaining too much power. Uh, I believe in that uh, storyline and plot in that game we played under some type of uh, other faction which was called the cause and we had to gain support through Oregon, California, and Canada or something of that sort. It definitely is interesting the fact that the Brotherhood of Steel has most of the control in Fallout 4 unless depending on what type of storyline you go down but it would be interesting if we had like some type of Chinese invasion or there is somehow a new emperor who took over the China mainland. But it would be interesting if Bethesda decided to actually explore that option. Seeing, maybe not necessarily in that specific way, but if we found out what is actually going on with China nowadays and seeing if they actually have regained some of their power. And because we obviously know that the Enclave, they knew about the war that was coming and they took all the great parts of America, well, the leaders of America, and they tried to build off of this and build a new country after the war. Unfortunately, that fails, but we don't know exactly what happens with China. And there has to be some other world leaders in other countries that believed that a nuclear war was coming also. 
couldn't have just been the United States, honestly, guys. But that moves me on to my last topic, which is Great Britain. We've had many mentions of the British in Fallout 4, Fallout 3, and many other Fallout games. And Fallout 4, we obviously have the USS Constitution, which fought in the 1812 war. And there's many Massachusetts historical landmarks from the Revolutionary War, such as Paul Revere's house and many, many more statues and so on. And what's interesting to me is that before the Great War, there was that battle for oil. Everybody wanted that last ounce or that last drop of oil. And that's what started the European Civil War, which was over fossil fuels and how it was running out. And we've heard that during Fallout 3 with Al Star Tenpenny, who traveled to the United States in the 23rd century seeking fortune, that he kind of clears some stuff up about the rest of the world. This is actually what the lead designer of Fallout 3 and Fallout 4 said. His name's uh, Emile, Emile Pagliarolua. Can't say that well, guys. But he said Alistar Tenpenny came to the capital wasteland from Great Britain to seek his fortune. So that alone t tells you that the UK was also hit in the war. And if he came to the United States to succeed, that says a lot about how screwed up Europe must be. So we just allude a little bit to the state of the rest of the world. We like to leave a lot to the players' imaginations, and somebody like Tenpenny serves as a catalyst for those thoughts. That was, he said that during the development of Fallout 3. So it would be interesting, maybe they change their mind, maybe they want to give us a little bit more of a taste of what's going on in the Fallout world. Maybe this time we find out what is going on, and if the British is so messed up right now, I mean, it, it serves as a great catalyst. I mean, you're in Boston, Massachusetts, which is where the Revolutionary War kind of pretty much started and where it was a big role. And it would make a lot of sense if, you know, English, the English people feel like that they have to leave England now because maybe there was a nuclear war that happened over there and we don't know what it looks like and maybe they feel like heading to the Commonwealth, which has a lot of technology and so on, would serve as a great place for them to start. And they don't know what's actually happened in the United States if it all got wiped out and so on, such as what Alistair Tenpenny came for. So there's other characters that actually came from the Fallout universe from England and possibly Ireland. We have Colin Moriarty, who was in Fallout 3. He has ancestors that came from Ireland. He hasn't lived all of his life in the United States, but it's never mentioned if he did come from Ireland also. And then we have some Fallout 4 characters, but all they really have is accents and they don't necessarily talk too much about it. We know that McCready, John Hancock, and Kate are descendants of Ireland. And then we have Proctor Quinlan, who speaks with an English accent, but it's never revealed who he is or where he comes from. So that's just an icing on the cake, you know. It would be fun if maybe they had some type of story with the USS Constitution playing a big role and maybe John Hancock, you know. They have all these characters that their names and their identities relate to this possibility of another revolutionary war. I just hope that you don't waste this opportunity. It would be interesting if we have an invasion of a type of British faction or even just a faction coming from another foreign country trying to take the Commonwealth because of the technology such as why the Brotherhood of Steel is up there trying to take control. Either way, if I had to set up this DLC, I would hope that our character would have to go to the Commonwealth Harbor and you would see many ships coming and that would start the new quest, which would probably be maybe a British invasion or maybe a Chinese invasion. Either way, it would be fun to see this new threat and how our characters and how the other factions would react to this. Anyway guys, I'll leave that for you guys to ponder about. Let me know in the comments what you think could be a bigger threat or what do you think could be a possibility. The Zetans, a British invasion, a Chinese invasion, or maybe it's another country that you, of your thinking, or maybe it's just another faction. Anyway guys, I want to thank you so much for watching. Make sure you smack that like button and share it with some of your friends. Let's get some of their thoughts. Anyway guys, uh, it's good to be back and uh, I'm going to keep on rolling out. See you guys later.